Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials of DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to set up Tomcat over SSL. In this example, we'll be using a self-signed cert, which we will uh, now generate. So to generate the self-signed cert, I'm going to use uh, the inbuilt Java key tool. So I've opened up my C drive here, and I'm going to go to my program files, and I'm going to go to Java, and I'm going to go into JRE, and I'm going to go into bin. And when I'm in bin, I'm going to open the command prompt as an administrator here by clicking file, open command prompt, and open the command prompt as an administrator here. You can also just open the command prompt and cd into the path that's uh, relative for you. So I have a command here on the clipboard that I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste in. And you can see it's a key tool, gen key, alias, tomcat. And we're going to place our key store in the Apache Tomcat conf. Uh, folder we're calling it localhost.jks obviously update the path that's uh, your path so the path that's relative to you so it's going to ask us for a password here so i'm just going to put in password since this is only a demo if you're using um, something different be sure to uh, use a better password and i'm going to put password in here again it's going to ask us for a series of things here now so what is your first and last name so usually you put in your FQDN here, but since I'm just on a localhost box and just for testing purposes, I'm gonna type in localhost. If you're just accessing uh, Apache Tomcat via your local machine, put in localhost here as well. Okay, uh, what is your organizational unit? I'm just gonna say IT. Um, what is the name of your organization? I'm just gonna say Darren. It's going to say what's my city, so I'm in Dublin. Um, state or province, I'm in Leinster and my country code which is IE, I'll hit return and I'm going to type in yes that I'm happy with this and it's going to say do you want to use the same password for your Tomcat cert and we say yes I do, I'm going to press enter cool and that's done for us now okay that's great we have our certificate generated so now I'm just going to minimize this I'm going to come back to my C drive I'm going to go into my Apache Tomcat folder. I'm going to go into conf. And look, we can see our localhost.jks here. So this is looking good already. And I'm going to open my server.xml. I'm going to open it in Notepad++, but Notepad uh, is perfectly fine as well, our text editor of your choosing. No, I don't want to download an update yet. So I'm going to scroll down here. And it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to place my connector block underneath the connector block for HTTP. So I'm going to paste it in, and it's pasted a little funny here, so let me just correct this. Move connector back, and I'm just going to tab this over. I will leave a link below where you can get all the relative commands and uh, this connector block, so you just copy and paste if you're following along. So we can see here, uh, we're telling it where to get the JKS file, so it's in conf localhost JKS. The password is password we're going to use port 8443 to communicate over https so this looks good so i'm just going to save this here by pressing ctrl and s and i'm going to open up my windows services which i have open here and i'm just going to restart tomcat now so tomcat should restart for us here hopefully now in a second perfect tomcat is restarted so i'm now going to open up my internet explorer i'm going to go to localhost port 8443 and I'll press return oh you know where that is because I don't hate TTPS so hate TTPS localhost 8443 now you see we're getting a certificate warning here because it's a self-signed certificate so I'm going to say it's okay I'm going to continue to this website because I know I generated this certificate and that's it we can see Tomcat is working over hate TTPS if we have a look at this certificate we can see it's issued to localhost by localhost. So you can just install the certificate if you want to trust it on your own machine and that will enable you to not get this warning anymore. So that was a quick video on how to set up Tomcat over HTTPS using a self-signed cert. I hope it was helpful and if you have any uh, questions, please do comment below. And if you liked the video, please do like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.